The following program is a paid advertisement for Get Down to Business with Kevin Harrington. Meet Kevin Harrington. With over 500 products launched and generating $5 billion in product sales in over 100 countries, Kevin Harrington is the inventor of the infomercial, as seen on TV Pioneer and Original Shark on the Emmy Award-winning TV show Shark Tank. Get Down to Business with Kevin Harrington is an exclusive television showcase featuring one of the world's most successful entrepreneurs getting to know business owners from across the nation. Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington, and thanks for watching Get Down to Business. Do you want to take your financial situation to the next level? On today's episode, we're bringing you financial insight and resources that can help viewers at home, both personally and professionally. Learn some of the secrets on creative business funding or all about angel employment and don't miss our Authors to Watch segment. I hope you enjoy the show. Now, it's time to get down to business with Kevin Harrington. Please welcome Michael Wildeveld, Mergers and Acquisition, Business Valuation, Exit Planning Expert, and author. Michael and his team have helped business owners orchestrate over 1,000 business sales in the past 20 years. Veld Mergers and Acquisitions has created an owner-friendly step-by-step program to maximize the company's value, explore the conventional and several unconventional transition strategies, as well as empowering owners to gain leverage, maintain control, and ultimately realize the transition they deserve. To reach even more owners, Michael has authored Exit on Your Terms, expert hacks to get more, keep more, and beat private equity at their own game. Michael, welcome. Thanks for having me, Great to have you here. Now, I need to hear more about this program, uh, Exit on Your Terms, because that's ultimately the holy grail of, of being a business owner, to be able to exit on their own terms, right? So let's talk about it. Kevin, no one knows this better than you. We're passionate about helping business owners, and what happens is they spend their whole life creating this, they have this value, and they get to the point where they need to sell it, and that's where the rubber hits the road. How do we sell it for the most money, keep the most in our pocket at the end of the sale, and maximize not only our company's potential, but our post-transition potential? And, and sometimes owners, they wait till the last minute, and they're going to call you, and they, I need to sell this in the next six months or a year, and it's like they got to plan it, and if it's <laughs> going to be on their terms they got to start sooner, right? That's the exact point of the book and the program. Owners, as we know, they're hustlers, they're entrepreneurs, they fly by the seat of the pants. Right. But to do it right, you need to start as soon as possible, you need to start early, engage the right people, and really explore all the possibilities. Let's talk about the target types of owners and clients you're looking for. We've sold companies for $10,000, we've had companies on the market for $500 million. Wow. But our sweet spot are owners that are doing, let's say, $1 million to $5 million in profit. Okay. And that typically translates to under $20 million in enterprise value. Right. So there, there's people out there right now that own businesses. And give them a piece of advice. Understand what you have and what the possibilities are. Realize where you fall in the spectrum of the different businesses there are. Right. There's a zone that we call no man's land. And that's for owners that are too large for business brokers to take to market or to help plan, they're just too complex, too sophisticated. Right. On the flip side, if you're under 30, 40, 50 million in value, Wall Street's not interested in you. You're too small for mm-hmm. most private equity. You're right. Investment bankers aren't gonna touch you. You need somebody that knows that in-between zone and that's where we specialize. Right. So I guess you could say we're gluttons for punishment. Those are the most challenging sales. <laughs> They're the most resor- rewarding sales, but right. that's why we help these people. They're the ones that need the most assistance. You know, where should an owner begin? What's the first step? First steps, whether it's through us or on your own, they're certified valuators, they're certified exit planners. The exit planners will know what the realm of possibilities are. There's conventional exit strategies. We've developed many unconventional exit strategies. But at least once you're planning, you're making investment in your business to start the process, get the most out of your sale, and keep more at the closing table. Yeah. 
I've been involved in a lot of these kinds of things. I love what you're talking about, Michael. I want to thank you for being here with us today. And for those that are listening, if you're thinking of selling your business or if you haven't even thought about the possible sale of your business in the future, now is the time to reach out and learn the process. Contact Michael Wildeveld at Michael W at veldma.com and visit their site, www.veldma.com. And of course, pick up his book, Exit on Your Terms. Thank you, Michael. Thank you so much, Kevin. Appreciate it. You're watching Get Down to Business with Kevin Harrington. Hi, Kevin Harrington, original shark from Shark Tank. Today I'm here with Michael Blom, a partner at the Lake Law Firm, and attorney Lee Melchioni. The Lake Law Firm is helping business owners recover employee retention tax credits up to $26,000 per full-time W-2 employee, and they will also process these claims for no upfront fee. Now, they work on a tax-deductible contingency fee that is only taken if there is recovery. They also provide audit protection at no additional cost. The IRS will send your business a check, and this money does not even need to be repaid, and you can still qualify if you receive PPP. Now, Michael and Lee, welcome, and I know that you've both been lawyers for over 10 years. You're a New York City law firm, and I understand that the government has actually set aside $50 billion in relief tax credits for companies that have retained their employees through COVID. This is an area that you concentrate in. Very exciting opportunity for business owners right now. And uh, Michael, why don't you tell us uh, and explain what, what is the employee retention tax credit and who qualifies for this? The Employee Retention Tax Credit is a program set up under the CARES Act where business owners can claim up to $26,000 per full-time W-2 employee, up to 500 employees. So that does not include the business owner, any family members, 1099 workers, or part-time workers. The qualifying period is from March 2020 through September 2021. I, I want to know what sets you apart in this industry because there are competitors, you know, there's accountants and payroll companies doing this. I know you're lawyers, so that's one very powerful uh, distinguishing fact, but what else? So there's three things that set us apart. First, there's no downside risk. We charge a contingency fee, but only if the company receives check in hand from the IRS. No upfront fee. No upfront nice. fee. Two, we are a law firm, so we are going to be aggressive in the pursuit of maximizing your claim, but in doing so, we are going to do it in an ethical and good faith manner. Fiduciary responsibility, absolutely, there, right? Okay. Absolutely. And then third, I think really most important is that we provide audit defense. In the event the IRS comes back and questions what, you know, how you receive this credit, we are going to defend you for free. That's fantastic. So you have sort of tax uh, lawyers on your staff, even, that Correct. it sounds like, right? Correct. What kind of companies have you guys helped? Across all industries, hospitality, restaurants, retail, construction, engineering. Uh, and like we said, given that there's absolutely no downside risk, uh, we would love to see if your company qualifies. Great. Now, I imagine as lawyers, you probably have some other services uh, that you offer. And what, what other types of things, for those listening, that might you be able to help them out with uh, beyond um, the, 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 the tax credit situation here? Sure. Uh, we represent clients who have been injured by a dangerous drug, a medical device, or a defective product. Also, personal injury claims, including motor vehicle accidents. Oh, fantastic. So kind of a full service uh, beyond uh, this particular niche that's, uh, that's uh, an awesome opportunity for business owners. So, so thank you, guys. And I just want to wrap this up by saying if you have a business with full-time W-2 employees and you've had them since 2020 and also into 2021, there may be significant capital that the government has set aside for you. To find out how much you might have available, contact the Lake Law Firm at covidercrefund.com. You can submit your information online or over the phone at 800 800 2233. That's 800-800-2233. Thank you. You're watching Get Down to Business with Kevin Harrington. 
Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington, an original shark from Shark Tank. With me now is Gianna Romani, often referred to as G, and she created a revolutionary new phenomenon called angel employment. But G is also the author of the best-selling book, Day Hustle, Receive the Benefits of a Day Job While You Grow Your Side Hustle. Now, Gianna, you retired at 39 from a 20-year career to focus on these ventures with your husband here in Florida. Congratulations on that. This Thanks. is awesome. But for those out there that don't know what Day Hustle is, explain it. Day Hustle was the key to my golden handcuffs. You see, my husband Farhad and I, we knew that being an employee wasn't going to get us to the freedom and fulfillment that we dreamed of, but we were afraid of losing the job security. Right. As parents, we didn't want to lose the steady paycheck, the health insurance, and that was really keeping me imprisoned um, in my day job. Yeah, sure. I wanted to be a published author. I put it aside because I was all in my day job and I didn't want to sacrifice the time I had with my kids um, or exercise or anything like that. Right. Um, so I thought, why couldn't somebody pay me the steady paycheck, the health insurance to do what I wanted to do, right. to be a published author? And so with the idea that if you want something, give it away first, we figured, why don't we pay people to do what they wanted to do? Instead of growing my business, they get to grow their own business. Wow. And that's where Day Hustle comes in. It's the company and the namesake of the book. I love where you're going with this. And, and, and you also created this term, angel employment. Tell me how you came up with that and what does it mean? Angel investors like you, Typically, well, you've helped millions of people grow their businesses to successful businesses, and your investment typically helps them with business expenses, marketing, product development, research, what have you. So we created Angel Employment, and as angel employers, our investment helps with the personal expenses so that these entrepreneurs don't have to worry about putting food on the table, a roof over their head, getting their kids to the doctor. And it's as simple as the subtitle of the book, Receive the Benefits of a Day Job While You Grow Your Side Hustle. I love the fact that you, you wrote the book, and it's, it's an, an awesome title. What motivated you to write it, and how has the book been for you as, as an author now? Rory Vaden, who's the author of Take the Stairs, he said that we're most powerfully positioned to help the person we once were. In that one sentence that he, you know, he's very famous for, I realized that there are so many people in the golden handcuffs like I was. Right. Uh, when I announced my retirement, the number one response wasn't, oh, I wish I had the money to retire or do this. It was, I wish I had the opportunity to pursue this passion or that passion, whatever it is, fill in the blank, right. one day. Nice. And that just gave me the sense of urgency and responsibility to be able to help people get to do this sooner and make this right. day one instead of one day. I like that. Yep. Also, mental um, breakdowns. A lot of entrepreneurs are reporting mental breakdowns because they're working nine to five on their day job. Right. Then they're working the seven to two a.m. strategy, mm -hmm. which leaves no time for family, for fun, for sleep, for exercise, for self improvement. No right. Nothing else. Got to be well rounded, right? Exactly. Yeah, so, right. so this gives you true life balance. The phenomenon, like like you called it, um, of angel employment, is literally getting people eight hours a day, 40 plus hours a week of their lives back to them. Nice, can others be angel employers, I, I assume? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, <laughs> that's a great question. Yeah. Uh, the bonus chapter in the book is addressed to angel employers uh, or any investors gotcha. um, interested in investing. And there are, it lists a lot of reasons why this will be a way that you can minimize your risk and possibly have a higher return in your investment, which is obviously the two biggest considerations in being an investor. I like that. Thank you, G, for being here. And I just, for those out there that want to be a day hustler, if you want to also maybe be an angel employer, or maybe you want to request an interview with Gianna here, or you want to connect with Gianna on social media, you can find everything by going to dayhustle.com. You heard it here. Take it from a shark and hustle over to dayhustle.com and pick up your copy today. Thank you. You're watching Get Down to Business with Kevin Harrington. Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington, an original shark from Shark Tank. Please welcome Dr. Negrath, CEO and founder of Elephant Learning. Elephant Learning teaches students the language of mathematics so they can understand the teacher 
and participate within the classroom. Students that go through elephant learning go from hating mathematics to loving math class in just three months. Welcome, Dr. DeGrath, great to have you here. And um, for those that have never heard of elephant learning, can you give us a little more explanation, a little more understanding of it? Absolutely. We teach children the language of mathematics through a gamification. What we've done is we've taken the most uh, effective activities that early age education scientists have found that help students understand mathematics. And uh, we've combined that with algorithms that quickly determine what students understand and do not understand so that we can get them learning math. Kids love gamification too, don't they? That's yeah, they it. love it's a it. great way to do it. And um, I, I wanna know, is there any research behind uh, any of this uh, that you guys have done? Absolutely, we just uh, did a study of over 57,000 students within our system. And on average, they learned 1.67 years of math using the system less than 40 minutes per week in just 13 weeks. That's awesome. I, now, the first thing that comes to mind is uh, it, some students are behind, others are a little smarter, they may be a little, little bit ahead, but is, is it, which one of those is it for or maybe for both? Right, yeah. when students come into the system, we start them in a placement exam based on their age. And so whether your student's behind or ahead, we're gonna find their level, and then we're gonna start teaching them the language of mathematics from there on. And on average, again, they learn years of math in just a few months. So you'll accelerate it wherever they are. It's, it's an acceleration process from there. And I, I wonder, if there, we have some students that are impaired, right? And that's, and that's a very difficult situation. Can this work for them also? We don't ask this information at sign up, but we've had parents raise their hands with children with ADHD or autism or uh, dyslexia, dyscalculia, and we've seen students that have success, so they're averaged into the 57,000 students, and it's worth a try. You mentioned 50,000 students in this research, but you've got well beyond that. Um, how many students total? And we've had over 140,000 students come through our system. We've taught over 160,000 years of mathematics. Fantastic, and do you ever get into classrooms with, with any of your programs? So we just started opening up to schools, uh, but we've been in classrooms through teachers uh, for the last two years. Fantastic. For anyone out there that's got kids, they should be thinking about this and contacting you. This also is a program that, that the, the, the children and, and the students work from their home on their computer so they don't have to uh, attend a facility, correct? Yeah, it's delivered via gamification. So to the student, it feels like a puzzle game. Think Angry Birds for mathematics. Oh. For the teachers and for the parents, we actually give teacher training at the level of the student. So if you've got a third grade teacher working with a student who's having troubles with first grade math, Mm. they're able to get the teacher training for first grade right at that moment. Fantastic. Well, I want to thank you for being with us, Dr. Negrath. And for teachers, school systems, parents, if you want elephant learning in your school or you want to sign up as a parent, visit elephantlearning.com or call 1-888-736-5876. Thank you. You're watching Get Down to Business with Kevin Harrington. Kevin is a product marketing mogul, inventor of the infomercial, world-renowned speaker, and best-selling author who's sharing his insight with entrepreneurs as we dive deep with an original chart from ABC Shark Tank, Kevin Harrington. Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington, and I'm an original shark from the hit television show, Shark Tank. And with me today is Adam Schwartz of the Merchant Marketplace. Adam. Thanks for being here. You have such an unbelievable business. You fund small businesses with capital, right? Correct. I mean, I love you, all right? I mean, <laughs> Thank that, you. Thank that you. is, the, if you're an entrepreneur and you're starting a business, that's the biggest challenge Absolutely. almost every entrepreneur has. Absolutely. How do I get my money, right? And so tell me how you got involved with this and sure. um, in, in, the, in the beginning process. Sure. Yeah. So 2008, I was in the banking industry. And when it collapsed, what I found, you had 15 million small businesses who didn't have access to capital. The banks weren't lending. Oh, wow. And I had friends, family, people that wanted to be in the, you know, needed capital. Right. They couldn't get it. I found a place that was actually lending money. And I said, this, I, how are you guys lending money? And they said, what we do, we do something called merchant cash events. And we um, get- Merchant cash events. Merchant right. cash, right. Nice. And right. we get people money or, or businesses within 24 hours. I said, that can't be. I walked into the place. I spoke to the owner. I said, listen, is, is this true? He goes, absolutely. I said, then you know what? Get me involved. I want in. And from that minute, wow. I've been doing it ever since. That's amazing. I love that story. So, so now the, the, the process of advancing money 
is it, there are other companies that do that now. Sure, I mean, sure. you ran into the kind of the one guy back then, but now then you started and Correct. others have been doing it. Absolutely. There's, so there's competition, but it, is there something that you do different, better? What makes you unique over the, the competitors? Kevin, that's a great question. Right. Yeah. So it comes down to one thing, and that's technology. You know, we've been building technology ever since we started in the business. Right. And we've integrated with over 20 different outside platforms to give us data. Right. And what that data allows us to do is look at a merchant or a business owner and their company within one hour and determine whether or not they should or qualify for capital. Oh, wow. And okay. if they do, we can get the money same day or in some cases the next day, but much quicker than any other platform that's out there today. Right. Now, I understand it, it banks... It, th th it's very tough to get money out of banks, very, right? right. Okay. Very hard. Yeah. They, they have such a responsibility for the, the people that are depositing the money in the bank, right? right. But so a bank has capital, mm -hmm. but now you actually do something very creative because you have investors yes. that help fund some of these deals because right. there's plenty of people out there that understand funding. And, right. and with funding, there's you borrow X, you pay back more than X. So there's <laughs> right. a profit, right? right. Okay. Of course. So you have investors that come in, mm -hmm. they take a look at the deals, and I think I heard that you're funding these deals same day, next day type a of thing, right? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and, and the key to this is basically giving our investors transparency. There are a lot of platforms out there today, they're doing it on spreadsheets, they're doing it by handshakes. What we've done is we've created an app similar to like a Robinhood, right. where an investor has full transparency and real-time data into their returns. So they have that information right at their fingertips. Gotcha. So for, those, for anyone out there that might be saying, hey, can I get funded by Adam's company? Um, let's talk about the parameters sure, sure. you're looking for. They, they, they should be in business for a couple of years. But, but we'll do it as, you know, whatever, depending right? on the industry, right? We'll do it as, as early as six months, but preferably a year. Okay, um, but minimum, even a six month startup potentially can get funded. Absolutely, because yeah. there are companies out of the gate. If, they, if they're showing significant revenue in month over month, right. you know, return, gotcha. we'll, we'll look at it for sure. Okay, good. Um, we we want to see about $10,000 minimum revenue monthly. Okay. Um, and, and that's basically the parameters. If you, if, fit that criteria. So you're pretty much funding anybody that's got off the ground, been in business six months, has some cash flow, um, you take a look, Absolutely. and then are you getting a pretty good percentage of your people approved? Um, we, we approve at least 75% of the people that come in. And, oh, wow. and, and I'll tell you, in, in the case of the, the, the merchant or the business owner who has $10,000, what we'll do is we'll give them a startup program. We'll give them, let's say, three or $4,000. Right. They pay, you know, and as they pay it back, we let them know that at the 40 or 50% paid back mark, we'll give them additional capital. Gotcha. And every time, because we create relationships with our, our, our business owners, our merchants, because we want them to know that throughout the life cycle of their business, they're gonna need capital. Gotcha. And at any point they can come back to us. So, I mean, in closing, let's, you know, let's talk about the future. Sure. Is there anything Absolutely. that's gonna be exciting for the company coming up? Here? Again, great, okay. great question, thank you. Yeah. So obviously we all know Cash App and Venmo, right? So we're in the process of building an app so that if a merchant needs capital, right, within a click of a button, it'll be in their wallet and they have access to it immediately. Wow, wow, that's, right. that, that's, that's high the future. tech. Yeah, that's, that's the future of funding. This is uh, of the funding. future of the, using technology, basically, Correct. in apps and technology, and you're gonna be able to take, almost like they're funding themselves. T take huh? the phone out of the pocket, <laughs> hit the button, and, 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 it's and, there. and literally within an hour you have money. That's unbelievable, fantastic. Well, yes. listen, Adam Schwartz, fantastic having you with us. Uh, Merchant Marketplace, You've seen it here first, and I think uh, Merchant Marketplace is a great source for funding for your small business if you're an entrepreneur. Thanks for being with us today, and thank you, Adam. Thank you, Kevin. Good having you. Take thank care. You. You're watching Get Down to Business with Kevin Harrington. Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington, an original shark from Shark Tank. Welcome to the Authors to Watch segment of Get Down to Business. With me is Bryce Boucher, a businessman turned author. And Bryce began writing when he was moved to write something inspiring for his son, Jeff, who was battling brain cancer. Bryce is the best-selling author of The Scepter, which received the prestigious Kirkus Star and is available in paperback and audiobook. And this is the first book in his trilogy, Johnster the Monster and the Bear, and is releasing two more books very soon. Bryce, welcome. Good to have you here. Thank you, Kevin. Okay, now, you've turned author at a, at a late age in your life, and uh, what is the inspiration of that, and, and, and tell me what led to becoming an author at such a, such a prime time of your life now. One day, I was at a soccer game when Jeff was a kid, 
and I was yelling encouragement to him, come on bear, come on, and I was standing next to a guy whose son, John, was a friend of Jeff's, and, and he said, oh, you call Jeff the bear? I said, yes, and he said, oh, we call John Johnster the monster, and I said, oh, Johnster the monster and the bear, that sounds like a great title for a book, <laughs> and I just, it just rattled around in my head for several years, and then one day I just sat down and said, I'm going to write this thing, not knowing what or whatever it would be. Wow. I just started writing. And about that time was the time when Jeff was first diagnosed with a brain tumor. And uh, it didn't take long for time to congeal on me and cause me to really get involved in it from the standpoint of I want to tell his story. Right. Because even though we tried our best, uh, in the long run, I knew, and Jeff knew, that he probably did not have a long time. Right. And so it was important to me from a standpoint of motivation right. to get these things done while Jeff could still read them. Did Jeff get a chance to, to actually read the book? He did. Uh, I was very happy about that. And he loved the fact that more than anything, I think that he could see that it not only was inspiring for him, he gave me the idea, really. He said, you know, this would inspire a lot of people. Nice. Not not just me, but you should get this out there because kids are going to read this and they're going to see that, you know, no matter what it is you're facing, serious health challenge, you're bullied, you're being picked on by your parents no. at home or whatever, you do have hope. You have hope and there is something you can do about it's it. It's a very inspirational book and I know uh, beyond the trilogy, you have a video game coming out, audio book. Tell me about those and, and uh, the inspiration behind it. The video game is uh, in progress right now, and it was just brought up to me as an idea by the, some people I was working with. I didn't really plan on it or anything like that. It just, they said, hey, how about a video game? And I said, well, why not? So it's in, in process. The, the audio book is kind of an interesting thing because it's narrated by an old friend of mine named Stephen Lloyd, who's one of these guys who... Uh, millions of people have heard his voice, but nobody knows who he is. Okay. And that the reason is because he was the voice of wrong numbers in Chicago for many years. Okay. <laughs> so if you called up and you got a wrong number, he'd yeah. say the number you have reached is right, not. Gotcha. And he, he's got this wonderful voice, and he agreed to do the auto book oh, for me, fantastic. and he did a wonderful job. That, that's great. Well, you too can pay tribute to Jeff Boucher and follow Bryce's emotional journey through these incredibly powerful books. Visit beboucher.com and check out the work of Bryce Boucher. Thank you, Bryce. Good having you. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate it. The preceding program was a paid advertisement for Get Down to Business with Kevin Harrington. 